Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the release date of the new iOS 17. Now this is a great update packed with a lot of new features and changes. Even though a lot of big changes we hope for are missing, there are still a lot of new features that actually make this a great update. But when will it be released to the public? Let's talk about that and I will also show you guys what you need to know in order to update your device to the new iOS 17 because it's not a lot of time left until it goes out to the public. So first of all, let's talk about the release date. So as you know, by now, Apple will release iOS on September alongside with their new iPhones and these are very closely related to one another. So the latest rumor says that the iPhone event this year will be on September 12th. That means right here on the Tuesday, this September 12th, will be the day that Apple will, put, will present to the world the new iPhone 15 lineup, which is looking to be a great device. So as with every other year, this is a pattern Apple, Apple has followed for a lot of years, so there is nothing to be surprised here. On that week, on September 15th, that will be the date, on a Friday will be the date where Apple will start the pre-orders for the iPhone 15 and then they will ship on September 22nd, making this week the release week for iOS 17. Because every time, of course, iOS has to be released before the new devices ship out. So I would expect Monday 18th to be released the release date of iOS 17. Maybe the 19th, but I'm like 80% sure it will be the 18th of September when we will get iOS 17 released to the public. And now let's also talk about the updating part to iOS 17 because as you probably know, Apple has changed the way you install betas on your device and a lot of people have installed betas on their devices. So let me show you guys how you can actually update to iOS 17. So as I said, on the 18th or 19th, Apple releases iOS 17 to the public. Most likely after the event on September 12th, we will see the RC version of iOS 17 being released. And if you update to that version while you're on beta, then you won't get the official update the next week because of course you already have this basically the same software which will be also released to the public so let me show you guys a few like different things you can do here if you're on beta by the time apple is just releasing ios 17 rc and you don't want to update to that all you have to do here is just disable the betas from the settings now to do that you go to beta updates and you just turn them off completely and you're good to go you won't receive the rc version that way once the public release of ios 17 comes out you will get the public update here and you're good to go but if you already have installed the rc version of ios 17 on your device then you can just leave it there it's nothing bad it's the exact same update that the public will also get as well but from now on if you don't want to participate on the betas anymore make sure to turn them off from here and of course, if you want to install the other betas, you can leave them on. Maybe you want to install the public or the dev beta, you can choose on that. But if you don't want to participate anymore, once you have the public release of iOS 17 installed, make sure that you have this turned off right here. So that's basically it for the video, guys. Expect Apple to release iOS 17 on September 18th or 19th. And of course, that same week will be re the release of the new iPhones as well. So that is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.